I am looking at stellar evolution models, which are computer models of stars that take the, all of the equations in physics that we know that go in, on inside stars and kind of put them together and we can take a star from life until death. My research is focused on kind of beginning to answer the philosophical question of whether or not we are alone in the universe. So it's, it's, it's a very big, physical, daunting question um, that, that seems to be on the mind of a lot of people. It turns out that all of these exoplanet missions or extrasolar planet missions that we are using to kind of look for the next Earth elsewhere in, in the universe can't tell us that much about the actual planet. They can tell us about the planet with respect to the star that it's around. And without actual information about the star that it's around, we are clueless as to figure out what's going on with that planet. And the only way to get information about the star, knowing very little about the star that we do from observations, is through the use of stellar evolution models. We can take something just as simple as the mass of the star. And with the mass of that star, we can tell you almost all of the properties that you will need to know about the star and subsequently the planet, the most important one of which is whether or not liquid water can exist on the surface of the planet. It's very dependent upon the energy output from the star. So if you have a very energetic star that's outputting just a lot of light, um, you have to be further away, otherwise you're just going to vaporize all of the water. If you have a very cool star, which is an M dwarf, you have to have the planet be very close. And M dwarf models are by far some of the worst in terms of the, the errors that we have noticed between what we can pick out in other systems and what the models actually predict. And so what we're looking at doing is coming in and fixing some of these issues so that we don't have to worry about that. One of the leading theories is that magnetic fields can actually alter the interior structure of a star. And that is where my research picks up and adding new physics into these models, we're going to add the supposed effects of a magnetic field. Maybe one day we could, we could have um, an understanding of space weather and how the sun affects the near-Earth environment, which can alter communications, it can just, you know, destroy satellites, and, and we would hope to find that our models will be more accurate so we have a, a better chance of finding out whether or not there are any planets that can support liquid water out there in the universe.